Welcome to BricsCAD for AutoCAD users. My name is Ralph Grabowski and it is my pleasure to show you BricsCAD 14. One of the benefits of BricsCAD over AutoCAD is that dimensioning is a whole lot easier. In this video I'm going to show you how this works. Now I've drawn here a uh, lopsided rectangle. I'm going to go down here, make sure quad is turned on, and that lets me dimension it using the quad cursor. Here's how this works. First I'm just going to pause the cursor over the edge of this rectangle. And then I'll move down into the dimension section. And you can see there's initially two types of uh, dimensions, linear and aligned. Let's start off with linear. It's going to put dimensions on the vertical and horizontal pieces. Click and there you go. Now I'm going to repeat and uh, put a dimension over this top part. As you can see the default quad cursor command is the one I last used. So I just need to once again click and pop it in place. That's really fast. In AutoCAD you probably know you have to enter in the dim linear command and then you have to tell it you want to dimension an entity and then you have to pick the entity and then repeat that three-step process for everything you want to dimension. In BricsCAD you just use the quad cursor and then place the dimension. Let's go on to the other type of linear dimension, the aligned dimension. So I'm going to go pause my cursor over the part I want dimensioned move into the quad cursor, there's the other one, and click repeat. And once again, the default is right there, so I just click it, and there we go. That's how fast it goes. Now I'm going to show you an even faster way to dimension entities with just one click. Move the cursor over the entity you want to dimension. By default, the next command will be the last one you used. Now right click the mouse button and drag away to place the dimension. Wasn't that super fast? I'll show you once more time because it was so fast. Just move the cursor over the entity to dimensioned, right click and drag away. I'm going to add a circle to this drawing so you can see what happens with the quad cursor when dealing with circles. Now I've paused my cursor over the circle. I'm going to move down into the dimension section. You can see that BricsCAD has added two more dimensioning commands for arcs and circles, radial dimensions and over here for diameter dimensions. Let me add a radial dimension, click, and there we are. That's how quick it goes. Now that we have dimensions on this object, let's see what we can do with them. I'm going to move the cursor over the top of this dimension and we can see the quad cursor has an icon there. I'm going to move the cursor into the icon to see what the rest of the options are. These are the default commands available for editing the selected object, which in this case is a dimension. And we can see that the first one there is for obliquing the extension lines. That means changing the angle of them from 90 degrees to something else. I'm going to click on it and enter an angle of, oh, let's say 60 degrees. And there you go. The lines are changed, their angle, and the dimension is adjusted automatically. Let's see what else there is. Restore text position, reposition dimension text. Let's try this one, edit dimension text. I'm going to click on it and then it prompts me for what the new text should be. So I'm going to type in length equals and then the two angle brackets which uh, takes the existing dimension and sticks it in there. Press enter and you can see that's been changed. That's pretty nifty. What else is there? Uh, let's see, reposition the dimension text. Okay. Well, you can see as I move my cursor along the, uh, the text moves uh, wherever I want it to be. So let's click right there. And what else do we have here? Uh, okay, rotate the dimension text. Let's put in an angle of, oh, I don't know, 45 degrees. And there you go. It's been, uh, it's been rotated. So now we've done three things. We've uh, oblique the lines, we've uh, rotated the dimension text, and uh, moved it along. 
let's uh, use this option right here to put everything back where it was. Restore text position. And uh, there we go. Now the last thing I'm going to show you is that dimensions in BricsCAD are truly associative. So let's click this uh, odd shaped rectangle I have, grab this um, grip and move it down to say right here. Click again and the dimensions are automatically updated. I hope you enjoyed this overview of how BricsCAD is able to easily dimension objects just using the quad cursor and how it can edit them. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself. Thank <laughs> you.